Hi students, welcome to Micro Sugar Maths YouTube channel. My channel contains classes for J Mains and J Advanced Aspirants. Today our topic is Problems on Determent. Students, we have successfully completed two basic classes on Determents. The videos are available in playlist of Micro Sugar Maths YouTube channel. Let us see our first problem. Students, the largest value of Determent, the largest value of third order Determent whose elements are 0 or 1 only. Students, third order means how many elements it contains? 9 elements. Therefore, our required determinant is third order determinant. Third order determinant we needed. It contains 9 elements. This determinant is formed by only 0 or 1 only. And we, we need maximum of this determinant, the largest value of this determinant only. Now students to get the largest determinant fill up the least value. What is the least element? 0 is the least element. Take the 0 element and put the 0 element in principal diagonal means 0 0 0. Fill up the 0 0 0 in principal diagonal to get the your maximum determinant. Next what is the next number? Highest number? 1. Fill up, put the next number at the remaining places. Now find out the determinant. You will get your largest value of the determinant using 0 or 1. That is equal to 0 into, find out the determinant, 0 minus 1. Minus 1 into, minus 1 into 0. 0 minus 1. Next 1. Plus 1 into, plus 1 into 1. 1 minus 0, 0 plus 1 plus 1, therefore, what is your largest value of determinant? 2 is the your largest value, therefore, what is your option? Fourth option. Students, our next sum, the largest value of a third order determinant using elements minus 1 or 1 only. Students, third order determinant means how many elements it contains? 9 elements. Therefore, in the determinant, 9 elements means 9 places you have. 9 elements, 9 places you have. Now, students, to get the largest determinant, fill up the least number. What is the least number? Minus 1 in principal diagonal. In the principal diagonal. Put the minus 1 in the principal diagonal. Now, remaining places in the rest of remaining places, put the 1. 1, 1. 1, 1, 1. Therefore, this matrix, this determinant containing largest determinant value. Find out the determinant. Therefore, minus 1 into 1, minus 1, minus 1 into minus 1, minus 1, plus 1 into plus 1 into 1 plus 1. Therefore, 0, plus 2, plus 2. Therefore, what is your largest determinant? Using only minus 1 and 1 is 4 students. Therefore, your option is 4. Therefore, what is the rule? Put the least value, least number in principal diagonal. And remaining places fill up the next number 1. Next number 1 in the remaining places. Then you will get the largest determinant of 3 by 3 matrix. Students, our next problem, a determinant of second order is made with elements 0 or 1 only. Then the number of non-negative determinants means positive determinants we needed. Number of positive determinants we needed, students. Students, what is the order? 2 by 2 matrix, 2 by 2 determinant. Therefore, in 2 by 2 determinant, how many places you, we have? Four places we have. Each place is fill up with zero or one only. That means first place is fill up with either zero or one. Means having two chances. Next second place is fill up with either zero or one. Means having two chances. Similarly, third place also two chances. Fourth place also two chances. Therefore, number of Determinants are equal to product of all these uh, chances.
chances product of all these chances number of determinants is equal is equal to product of all these chances therefore 2 power 4 16 determinants will be formed using 0 or 1 only now students out of which we need non negative determinants only students here here Only this determinants have negative determinants. Means find out the determinant. Its determinant is minus 1. Second one. Second one also having determinant is minus 1. Third one also having minus 1 determinant. Therefore, only these three determinants out of 16, only these three determinants are negative determinants having negative determinants. But we need positive determinants means non-negative determinants we needed therefore required non-negative determinants is equal to 16 minus these three determinants means 16 minus 3 is equal to 13 determinants have positive determinants therefore our required number of non-negative determinants are 13 therefore 13 is our answer students our next problem if a determinant of order 3 by 3 is formed by using the numbers 1 or minus 1. Our 3 by 3 matrix is formed with elements only 1 or minus 1. Then we need minimum determinant. Students, in 3 by 3 matrix, how many places we have? We have 9 places we have. These 9 places are fill up with only 1 or minus 1. And our determinant must be minimum. To get the minimum determinant, to get the minimum determinant, write down highest number. What is the highest number? 1. Write down this 1 in principal diagonal. Means 1, 1, 1. Next, what is the least number? Minus 1. Write down this minus 1 in remaining places. Remaining places. Then, your determinant is, will be minimum. If what is the procedure? Write down highest number in principal diagonal and write on my least number in remaining places then you will get minimum determinant find out the determinant 1 into 1 minus 1 minus of minus 1 into minus of minus 1 into here minus 1 minus 1 next minus 1 next minus 1 into minus 1 into 1 plus 1 therefore finally 0 minus into minus plus plus 1 into minus 2 minus 2 therefore minus 4 is the our required minimum determinant therefore your option is second option next to sum determinant is given 0 here x is for all x belongs to real number and n is natural number then what is your a value we needed. Let us take the determinant. Take the determinant x power n. x power n plus 2. x power 2n. 1. x power a. a. x power n plus 5. x power a plus 6. x power 2n plus 5. Determinant is given as 0. Now students, in third row, in third row, x power 5 is common. Take the x power 5, take the x power 5, x power n, x power n plus 2, x power 2n, 1, x power a, a, next one, on taking x power 5, you will get x power n, here x power a plus 1, here x power 2n, its determinant is 0 strength. Now strength, on observing R1 and R2, R3 rows, R1 and R3 rows, here, first element, first element is common. Third element, third element is common. Identical. Now, students, when two rows or two columns are identical, then its determinant is zero. Now, students, to get the identical, identical 
rows to get the identical rows R1 and R3. R1 and R3. Your powers of second elements must be equal. Therefore, n plus 2. n plus 2 is equal to a plus 1. Then, what happens friends? Your first row and last, last row must be equal. Then, when two rows are having identical elements, then its determinant is 0. Therefore, that's why our powers of second elements must be equal. Then, your determinant is 0. Therefore, here a is equal to n plus 2 minus 1 a is equal to n plus 1 is your answer. Second option. Now students, what you have to do? Like, share and subscribe. For more subscribes will give more energy to Microsoft Mass YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.